Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The graph shows the variation of displacement of a wave with distance along the wave. The wave speed is given as 0 0.5. Very good. So literally, like they're talking about a wave. And as I have told you, there are two graphs possible when we talk about simple harmonic motion or waves. And what are they? The first type of the graph is this that when on the x-axis you have distance as it is given it is the distance along the wave distance along the wave be very particular be very concentrative at this time this is distance now and on the y-axis you have displacement so whenever you have this kind of a graph you're talking about the wave and this is literally shown here and i must tell you like this diagram, this variation, this thing is literally the rope in which a transverse wave is going on. Like this is literally, there is a rope that is having a wave and you, you have just clicked a picture for that. You have just clicked the image for that. And that image would be looking like this, absolutely like this. So this is that same. So wave is shown with this. But and there are so many particles here. You see, like all these particles are different. This particle is different. This particle is different. All these particles are different particles along the wave. Obviously, there is this rope, big rope. So you can say one particle, which is like five centimeter away from the starting point, 10 centimeter, 15 or 20. So these are four different particles that we are talking about. And this graph talks about the wave. Now, there is another kind of graph that is available. And this graph is like this. On the x-axis, you have time, and on the y-axis, you have displacement. Now, whenever this kind of a graph is given, like you are the one, you have to make sure what is there on the x-axis. You see, on the x-axis, it's distance given here, and the unit is given meter. So, they are literally talking about wave. But if they, they would have given time, it was not the wave. What was it? It is the simple harmonic motion. So, this graph becomes simple harmonic motion. And this represents only one particle. Because in wave, you have multiple particles. Like, for example, in the rope. But in SHM, you are concentrating on the one particle itself. And that one particle is moving up and down. Up and down. And we are least concerned about what is happening to the other particles. But in the wave, we are talking about all of the particles. All of the particles. So that becomes a wave. Now, this is SHM, simple harmonic motion. So what are the things that you can find from these two graphs? In this graph, when you talk about wave, you can find the amplitude of displacement and you can find the wavelength. These are the two things you can find if this kind of a graph is given. Now, this graph is already given here, so you can find the amplitude as well as the wavelength. So, what do we want to find? The wave speed is given and you want to find the time period. So, directly, you cannot find time period from the graph. From the graph, you can find the wavelength. So let us do it first. So what is the wavelength now? So you can see it started from here. It went up to here. So the wavelength is 1.5 meters. So lambda is 1.5. Now velocity is lambda into F. So the wavelength is 1.5 multiplied by the frequency. And frequency we don't know. 1 by T. And the velocity is given as 0 0.5. So I can just substitute this here. Yeah, 0 0.5. And so from here, I can find the time period. So time period comes out to be equal to 1 by 5 divided by 0 0.5. And hence 3 seconds. So our answer will be C. So this is what we have found. But instead of uh, this graph, if this graph was given, let us say, you could have directly found the time period. From this graph, you could have found two things. What are they? Again, the amplitude of the displacement, the same as this. But instead of a wavelength, you would be able to find the time period. So if this graph was given, you could have found the time period by reading out the graph. Okay, so in this method, we can say that the answer is C. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme now. Yes, the answer is C. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.